If you traveled back to the Jurassic period, you'd witness the rise of one of the most powerful dynasties in Earth's history, second only to humans. Starting as unassuming lizards, dinosaurs evolved into colossal creatures that dominated the planet for 160 million years. They were the pinnacle of reptilian evolution, and their diversity was staggering, with over 1,000 known species. Welcome to the Jurassic, the era when the dinosaur dynasty truly began to flourish. Before this, you endured the fourth mass extinction, a two million year deluge that reshaped the planet. While the floods were devastating, they also deposited nutrient-rich soil, sparking an explosion of plant life. In this oxygen-rich environment, dinosaurs thrived, and their golden age began. As you step into this world, you'd be awestruck by the sight of Diplodocus, one of the most common herbivores of the early Jurassic. Stretching up to 24 meters in length, these giants were true behemoths, requiring vast amounts of vegetation to sustain their massive bodies. They lived in small herds, their sheer size deterring most predators. But the Jurassic was also home to formidable hunters. Enter Allosaurus, a 10-meter-tall predator with a bone-crushing bite force, making it one of the era's top carnivores. It would even venture into Diplodocus herds, targeting vulnerable juveniles rather than adults. While Allosaurus relied on brute strength, other predators used teamwork. Calurus, a smaller but highly intelligent predator, hunted in packs. Covered in thick feathers for warmth, they could hunt at night or in colder climates. Their strategy was relentless. They would take turns chasing prey, exhausting it before delivering a fatal strike with their sharp claws. As you venture deeper into the dense forest, you'd encounter the iconic Triceratops. Measuring up to 8 meters long and weighing over 4 tons, these herbivores required vast amounts of vegetation. But even plants in this ancient world had defenses. Some were toxic. Over time, Triceratops evolved a solution. After consuming poisonous plants, they would travel to specific caves to eat clay-rich and detoxifying minerals. This remarkable behavior highlights the ingenuity of these ancient creatures. In the oceans, you'd find the bizarre Plesiosaurus, a long-necked marine reptile that thrived in the late Jurassic. Often linked to myths like the Loch Ness Monster, Plesiosaurus was a formidable swimmer, but even it had to contend with predators like Mosasaurus, the apex predator of the seas. Though Plesiosaurus was no match for Mosasaurus, one-on-one, -on -one, it relied on numbers to fend off attacks. The skies, too, were ruled by dinosaurs. Quetzalcoatlus, the largest the largest of the pterosaurs soared through the air with wingspans rivaling small airplanes. But these giants weren't just masters of the sky, they were also formidable on the ground. During breeding season, they sought out secluded forests to lay their eggs. The process was arduous, taking over two weeks, during which the female could barely eat. If the nest wasn't well hidden, rival pterosaurs might destroy the eggs to reduce competition for resources. A mother returning to find her nest under attack would fiercely defend it, driving off intruders with unmatched ferocity. The giraffe was a time